they expect to see quite so much of. That will be all done. Unless they don't switch it. I mean, that's still a possibility to send Rek'Sai top. I mean, Diamond did play Gragas jungle a while. Dark, if you will. Making his way, Young Buck. Oh, still a little coming. bit forward there. We go, gonna flash. Oh, they mi he missed it. He flashes way too early, and Cabo Shard will pick him up. Young Buck for that uh, not so prestigious title. Now, Soren is in a little bit of trouble himself. Diamond really making his mobility No, Nick Flash Charm going forward, and they found Soren. Diamond picks up that kill. Yeah, Di Honestly, Sin, he really hasn't done much of anything to start this one off. We haven't really seen him try to make plays. Now Nick does not get the charm connect, but he will find some more damage on his Soren. There he is, the dive in. Nick might have gone a little too far forward. Airwalks, though, also very low. Soren going forward, and it is Airwalks who does finally come up and make the play. Actually, teleport behind from Youngbok. Yeah, he's going to try to make the play here. Teleported behind. Here we go. Nick and Diamond caught in a little bit of trouble. There we go. The Maelstrom slices and dices in Airwalks forward, but he might have overstepped his bounds, has to flash away, Diamond, they're gonna send her on Unlimited, here comes the cannon, do they have the damage? A big barrel knocks them all back, Pinoy takes down Airwax, there will be no smite available for this one, do the Copenhagen Hanks... Now, here we go, towards towards Pinoy. Yep, he's actually caught in a pretty bad spot himself, and no team will be able to get to him just yet, actually heal is popped, he finally goes down, his freeze picks him up, Diamond was there a little bit late, Wild Growth to keep him a little bit bigger, here comes Cabo Shard, do they have the damage? Airwax a little bit Low exhaust is down on Soren. Rift walks away. Unlimited burning his flash. Summoners all over the place. Do they have the damage to finish off Unlimited? I think they do. And the Leona death count continues this week. Mid lane. That's a good move now by Gambit. Playing it correct around it. Oh, Soren is in some trouble. That's Nick what happened. Does manage to get the assassination off. Kill him 2v1. But it simply meant he was actually missing down his bottom and he's okay. here now. It's called. They've Pinoy caught Pinoy again. again. Okay, he's in a little bit of trouble now. He's going to burn his flash. Never mind. They're going to be able to keep pushing on him. Exhaust is down. Wild growth is out. Oh, the barrel. They knock him backwards. Freeze. They get the kickoff with Airwax. They can still turn this fight. Pinoy and Eddie go down. Nick trying to dodge and dive his way out of harm's way. But Freeze and the rest of the team not keen on giving it to him. A double kill. Ward Soren just killed because that's the ward. Game would use like, oh, oh, limited. oh, wow, they didn't quite connect where they wanted to, and Diamond, he's in a little bit of trouble. He's going to get the wild growth on, but how much damage do they have? Unlimited going extremely low, able to keep himself alive as Kabashard lumbers his way up to the side. No damage connecting, Young Buck comes in. This is such a sloppy fight. Unlimited finally going oh, down the to Pinoy. They flash out, they've traded AD carry for support. That's not over yet, though. Diamond flashing his way back. I'm surprised he held on to it as long as he did. Oh, and is that going to be it? Yep. Goodbye, Grumpy. Goodbye, Grump. So one for one. Again, I mean, these team fights, nobody really wants to commit or they're missing the crucial skill shot. Kabushak came from behind, had to just back away instantly. Diamond is rejoining from oh, base. Oh, and then the down. charm. Goodbye. Airwax. Eddie picks up that kill. Diamond Prox, after backing for just a moment, comes right on back. Di Gambit should be able to take this. Airwax isn't here, but still, is the thing and Wolf, they're going to try to do something. He's going to go right in the middle. Can they find Edward for the damage? The Looks like they managed to secure their fourth dragon as well. Diamond in some trouble. Can he stay alive? Freeze, charmed up, trying to escape. Nick, not quite enough damage to pick him off. As soon as I say it, Freeze goes down. They're able to pick up even more. Sora Nick is so low now. Young Buck should be able to mop him up, but he's just caught by the charm. Nick will finally die. And a barrel to seal the deal. This is Solar Flare and the Fates Call. They're actually going to get a catch onto him here. They do have quite a lot of chase potential. Can they take down Diamond? They finally can. This is right by the Baron Pit. However, still dangerous to start this one up, even without the charm of it. Now they're on the chase. Throw the barrel. Airwax is isolated, flashing away. Here comes Unlimited, however, trying to make the fight happen. Nick into the back line, going to dash back into his team. Unlimited. He's going to get pulled up. Young Buck in the middle. That is. What he needed, the males from there. Diamond is going to get picked off by Freeze. Very low are the Wolves right now, but Gambit have already lost their smite, and they might lose a little bit more in this. They're going to lose a lot more because Dragon is pointing 20 where Gambit is up to. They're actually going to march on forward here as Soren is leading the charge Unlimited trying. He flashes after the Zenith Blade. They're still going to find the damage if they can. Diamond in the back by the Baron. They're dodging out every one of these skill shots the Wolves are throwing their way. Eddie, though, in a bit of trouble. Wild growth down the denial. Do they have enough damage to pick him off? Not quite enough. Eddie got it. finally goes down. Soren will find him. Running. Pinoy is running. Copenhagen Wolves have enough time to clear this one. 
Gambit have to Wait do this damage. Gambit. Here comes Diamond. He's going to go in there, try to Whoa. make it. No! Smited away by Airwax. Edward is in a little bit of trouble. So is Diamond. Kabashard will make his great escape, but Diamond trying to steal it. But this dragon here, again, Gambit looking for the fifth one. Yep. Can they get it? It's a bit risky by Kobane Wolves to start it. It's going over. Nope. With the Callista Renbrox, they're able to do it unlimited and Soren a little bit low in this one. And they again can disengage this, but here comes Aerox. They go right back in for round number two. Where did Eddie go? Back to Fountain for him. Nick is going to pick up a kill. Or excuse me, he is going to pick up a kill, but is he going to stay alive? Yes, he is. A double, in fact. So basically allow Copenhagen Wolves to get in here the bottom lane and open up the yeah, yeah, Eddie. Yep, Kabush down. Eddie's already down. Kabushard, can he even get away? No. Three members with the Baron buff. Soren is going to pop his hour. The Nexus all the way to the top and to the Oh, oh Nick just mid jumped out of it. Blade. He gets charmed. I have not seen that before. That is cool. Yeah, but they got to use his ulti. That's gone for oh, the Oh, Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Where is he? Fate's call. They're going to find Diamond. Do they have the damage unlimited? Walking away from this one as Soren pops his on. Yes, Eddie is down. Freeze will secure that kill as Soren chases down Diamond for another. They've found two. Can they keep? Go straight down for this dragon here. Gambit is not done yet. Diamond's not ulti. Eddie? Oh, they're going in. Here we go. Young Buck a little bit too early on that Maelstrom. Can he go down? No. There is the Zhonya's Hourglass. His Pinoy Beautiful. is isolated, picked off by Freeze. Diamond now. The big shutdown goes over to Nick, but Diamond is going to also find Airwax for it. It looks like as soon as the proc will be available. Face call is not quite up. Here there we, we go. go. The Solar Flare. The Dragon, all forgotten as Soren is going to go golden. And there is going to be Copenhagen Wolves peeling them off the Dragon. The dragon. It goes down to Freeze with the Ren proc no smite required and he pulls unlimited pushes him on a cobble shard can they take this 2v3 however so far they're making it not look too bad freeze shut down diamond and nick they'll find the double kill they've got the ace the death are on the board and both teams really can't afford to lose this one so oh, i'm gonna get a drawn out slugfest now here we go diamond he's gonna move forward they just don't have anything and it's going to be unlimited finally going down they've managed to pop going to be that 5v4 starting to fire down the nexus turrets mistakes get so punished in this late stage of the game combo shard going back in young buck he is going to go big and they find two more kills this time it is the wolves who turn it around diamond trying to distract the team so nick stays alive but can he make it out pinoy is still making his great escape finish it. nick is gonna go down in Look just pinoy. a Look moment pinoy. pinoy is trying to make his escape as well he's the only man left standing Death timers are just so long. It's been so back and forth. And now the Wolves have a big chance. And they make their way, albeit a little bit slowly, and scattered up to Gambit's base. But Pinoy with the outplay. Can he find Freeze? No. I don't think so. Renproc for the ace. But he did buy a lot of time here. So Copenhagen Wolves didn't actually go straight for the Nexus. Not even sure they actually could have finished. There's still a long time on these death timers. Yeah, yeah, if Freeze just ran curious. straight to the base, there's even minions coming. With uh, Airwax here, Soren already got the inhibitor down. Freeze is still very far away. I mean, the Copenhagen Wolves could just have left Kennen to defend and then try and finish. They go for it anyway. Yeah, they're actually, they got it. For a moment, they take they this one up. Yeah, they should be able to grab this. It's still 15 seconds away. So after just about an hour, the Copenhagen Wolves outlive and outlast Gambit Gaming to get game number two on the board.